Bethel Franklin, Dr Woodrow. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Primary Industries. Minister, last month a document inadvertently released under a Greens RTI titled Minute to the Minister for Primary Industries and Water revealed your department strongly recommended against the duck hunting season on a range of reserved lands. This recommendation was made by uh, your Principal Wildlife Management Officer of Game Services Tasmania. The document noted other states are taking measures to protect wild duck populations after, after significant water bird decline on the mainland due to severe drought and that Tasmania's participation would be important for the recovery of Australia's native duck populations. Minister, earlier this year, in response to the Greens' questions in Parliament, you suggested the decision to open up this duck hunting season was sustainable. However, the briefing note prepared for you makes it clear that proceeding as normal with this season was not sustainable. What advice, if any, have you received, Minister, that makes you confident enough to reject the strong recommendations of the Game Services, as well as to take a completely different management direction from other states? Thank you. The Honourable Minister for Primary Industries. Thanks very much, uh, Madam Speaker, and thanks uh, very much for the question, Dr Woodruff, and uh, the opportunity to respond and to make it very clear that on behalf of the government, um, we recognise that appropriately managed duck hunting as a traditional form of recreation in Tasmania. And as I've previously advised this place, uh, the department manages an open season to provide access for recreational hunting and has strict regulations and procedures in place, Madam they Speaker, and ensure that uh, hunting of ducks is humane and sustainable. I've said that before. Well, I've also true. indicated previously, your, Madam sorry. Speaker, the long-term uh, population monitoring of wild duck populations conducted annually by the department shows no evidence of long-term decline in wild duck numbers well, in Tasmania this over this true. period. This is Madam not true. Order. Madam Speaker, I'm the attempting to respond to I question. know you're attempting to respond and I'm attempting to keep order. Thank you. Thanks very much, Madam Speaker. So wildlife population trends are determined using scientifically robust and statistically yes, valid that's why methods. They advised you to wild stop duck the population issue. monitoring has been regularly conducted in Tasmania for more than three decades under previous governments, all forms, all colours of government, uh, including the, the Labor Green, including the Labor Green government, Madam Speaker. The same the same surveys, worst the same uh, reviews, the same assessments, and of course, as far as I'm aware, there was no ban on duck hunting under the Labor Green government when they were uh, in power, Madam Speaker. Do you understand so long term decline? Madam Speaker, surveys undertaken in February 2020 showed that numbers remained within the range observed in recent years. The 2020 hunting season for wild duck in Tasmania opened on Saturday 7 Made March. Closed Monday Ms. the 8th of June. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And wildlife enforcement officers monitor the activities of duck hunters at wetlands to ensure compliance with the rules and regulations. So, Madam Speaker, Madam um, Speaker in terms of the order. RTI... Uh, sorry, Minister, I have a point of order. Um, we were asking specifically, what, the 45 relevance, uh, what the Minister, what information the Minister had that was different, um, because he's not responding to that part of the question. OK, well, I can't instruct the Minister how to answer the question, but I can ask him to remain relevant. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. As I was about to respond to the RTO, the, the part of the question, and there were many parts to the question, and part of the question referred to the RTI, Madam Speaker, and that's what I was about to respond to before we were interrupted. However, Madam Speaker, um, with respect to uh, uh, the draft minute that was referred to in the question, yeah, uh, was not provided uh, by the department to me or my office, Madam we Speaker. It then. Oh. I received no Mr. advice. Baker. Mm. Are you interested in an answer? Yeah, no, it doesn't interested. look like... Excuse me, Greens members, could I respectfully remind you that you're not above anyone else here and you are not allowed to interrupt. So, Madam Speaker, as I was saying, I received no advice from the Secretary that I should make a new order or an, amended, an amendment order to change the provisions for the 2020 duck season. I was advised of the Secretary's decision to open specified reserved land for duck hunting in the course of the normal business shortly before the opening of the season. 
Madam Speaker, under Section 30 of the, the Nature Secretary Conservation Act you, 20, right? 2002 provides for the Minister to determine by order the seasons, dates and places for taking of various game species in Tasmania and uh, the Nature Conservation Open Seasons Order 2004 currently defines the, the period of the open season and wild duck uh, in each year as that period and that's been noted. So, Madam Speaker, um, I've said before um, that the, in terms of the long-term uh, evidence, uh, there is no long-term decline in duck, wild duck numbers. You got Madam the Speaker. Dr it. Woodruff, Madam warning Speaker. one. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I'll conclude, Madam Speaker, to make it very clear that's uh, based on advice uh, from the department and it's based on surveys <laughs> across decades of past governments, including Black the Labor-Green government. Madeleine Ogilvie.